Hello, boys and girls. Today's story is Out of the Ocean. Just want to show you in the back. I'm not going to read all this, but this was an ocean journal. For over 35 years, my family has lived just north of Vero Beach, Florida, in a house overlooking the warm waters of the great Atlantic Ocean. In that time, four generations of us have walked the shoreline, finding things. Some of these things have delighted us, like delicate sea urchin shells or glass balls, and others have angered us like thick patches of tar or a mangled sea turtle. Living here, we've learned that much of what goes into the ocean eventually washes out of the ocean somewhere else. Every high tide leaves a new array of objects on the beach, and each is a little chapter in a story. Our discoveries, some wonderful, others alarming, tell us much about our world and how we humans are affecting the land and water. So here's some things you might find. Shells. Note in a bottle, black skate egg pouch, glass fishing floats, sea turtle tracks, driftwood, carved floats, burnished glass, sea urchins, sunken ship, shark's teeth, abandoned raft, ropes, etc. Things too big to carry home. Water, sun, and moon. And then the different plants and trees. Oh. <clears throat> Here's the story. My mother says you can ask the ocean to bring you something. If you look, she says, you might find it. Like the sun, she says. She asks for it every morning. And there it is, rising up out of the ocean. Is it true, I ask her? You can ask for anything? Keep watching, she answers, and the next day the sun rises up out of the water one more time, just like she wanted. Can you ask the ocean for something special? I ask my mother. Every day I ask for water, she says, and look, water everywhere. Look how far the water stretches, how it sails above us in clouds bigger than cities, and out there we can see water falling into the ocean all over again. I know you can ask the ocean for shells because every time we go to the beach looking, there they are, trembling, tumbling, and over end, arriving empty, most times worn by the sand and waves. But can you ask the ocean for treasure? I asked my mother. Certainly, she said, just be looking for it. So when we found it, we called it treasure. That broken glass that has rolled around on the ocean floor until it's smooth and glowing. Green and brown are easy to find, but blue, that's special, and red, the rarest of all, can make you run all the way home just to show someone you found it. One day, a splintered board painted with a white stripe washed in, just what we wanted for the castle we were building. That board found us before we even asked. At the ocean, things can surprise you like that. Walking this beach, I found pelican feathers, a wooden shoe, floating glass balls, skate egg pouches, plastic boats, abandoned rafts, two unbroken sea urchin shells, messages curled inside bottles, carved wooden floats. Wow, that's a lot of things. More. Coconut, sea turtle skulls, a bean from a sunken ship, shark's teeth, and a giant pile of tangled rope. I've carried home all of these things, and each one turned out to be just what I wanted. But my mother, she keeps asking for things that are too big to carry home. Sun, water, silver moonlight, the sound of waves, sea turtle tracks at dawn. Those things are always here, I tell her. You just have to look for them. She laughs and says that now I know her secret. It's not the asking, it's the remembering to look. And sometimes she says, the bigger the thing, the easier it is to forget to see it. I don't think I'll ever forget to see something as big as the sun or the water. But just to be sure every day, we help each other look.
And that's what I showed you earlier. Thank you, boys and girls. Any recommendations or ideas, reply in the comments. Have a great day. Bye.